when I said something felt loose, uh, yeah, it was a steering bearings. Um, so that screw there. I was fiddling with it yesterday. I was changing the height of the handlebars, which you could do these um, here. You've got spacers. There's one there, there's one there. That was under here, and I moved it up to the top. So you have to undo this, take it all off, put it back together. But I tightened these screws before that one. <laughs> Done it up tight, and then it's yeah, that's quite a lot of play. It's all right now, <laughs> so you can you know push and pull it, and it, there's no play in it. So there you are. So I wouldn't have got very far with it like that. Um, anyway, this is St. Leonard's Church at Watlington in Oxfordshire. Um, this is the, uh, where are we? This is the Eastern End. It's new new graves over here over there going right but there's a path goes right back and there's like loads and loads of old graves over there there's houses all around look i don't know if you can see there's houses back onto uh onto the churchyard uh there's the tower uh which normally has bells all the bells have been taken down to have them uh re made round again apparently when they get old they make to lose their shape so they've raised eighty four thousand pounds to have the bells taken down and reshaped so none of the bells work which also means that the clock doesn't work which is probably just as well because it, it chimes every quarter hour and then the hours including all through the night so if you're sleeping in there um yeah <laughs> so we are going to be spared that pleasure. So where are we? This is the southern end, and there's the tower. Um, this is the main door. It's the only door that's, uh, you know, as usable. Um, this is the Lich Gate. You've seen this already. And um, and there's another another door around here. You know, a bit of a bit of a bench. Nice sort of a thing there, and you can see there's, there's the road is that just that way. Um, you know, there's houses all around. And this is the, the other door. So there's the tower, and the tower space is being used as a storage area because the church is open. The church is consecrated, it's still used. There's a rector who lives over the road, he's gonna come in, he comes in every day, does, it, does his morning prayers and that, and whatever else. Uh, they had the organ is in yesterday, practicing. Um, and then this, yeah, what is that? Is that the kitchen? Or lavatory or something like that? There's two toilets, there's a disabled toilet and a normal toilet, there's a kitchen, they've got a microwave and a, a cooker, electric kettle, fridge. Um, right, I've got a quick slurp of my tea because it's getting cold. And then I'll pop inside this wooded area here. Yeah, through those trees, there's new houses over there. The rector lives in one of them. Uh, Daniel, his name is. And 
people like to come in and walk their dogs. Right, have a quick slurp of my tea and then uh, I'll go inside. All right, let's just have a quick look inside. I've just come back from the spa and spoke. I've had uh, some beer and pizza, which is very nice. Uh, start getting peckish again now. So, um, let's have a quick look in here. Let's, uh, light should come on. Here we go. Here we are. Um, can you see that there's two altars again? I don't know quite why. Little table, grand piano here. Lectern, screen, and uh, up here. There's a wee little organ there. Um, and that's uh, these windows, we've got another screen here, another altar here, and uh, this is the big organ, and it was working yesterday, um, I don't know, hour and a half, I think he was messing about with it. There's a, on the wall there is um, that black box on the wall there. That's the light switches. What's that? Keyboard of that. Keyboards are not massively huge, I have to say. On the steps. Um, this is the nave. No pews as such. They're all individual chairs. Pulpit. Um, oh, that's a thing actually. I've got to clear Thursday evening. I've got to clear off for a couple of hours while the choir comes into practice. So that's half past seven to half past nine, I think it is. Um, this is the vestry. Um, there's a memorial for to the Great War. This is the like the, the kiddies play area but this is where normally the bunk bed will be put in i have to take pack it i have to lock it away and because we get visitors um table for uh, doing paperwork on or meals or whatever this is the kitchen bit of a sink there we've got kettles we've got kettles we've got teapots we've got coffee machine which is quite good this is my stuff um sink uh a tea urn cupboards of supplies there's filtered coffee and tea bags and sugar and wine glasses and uh, we've got you know orange squash this is quite jolly. This is um, rose lemonade. I might have some of that. Microwave, which works. Uh, there's an oven. There's another oven. Was it an oven? No, that is the dishwasher, and I was told you must not use it. I don't know why. It's not going to use dishwashers anyway, but you know, fridge. Uh, some of my stuff in there. Oh, there's some. Um, I, I went and got some, got some chips last night from the chip shop. Yeah, a fridge disguised to look like a cupboard. Um, oh, lavatory. Lavatories. Disabled lavatory. Very nice too. B 
This is better than slamming it when you've only got bottled water and an earth closet and no electricity and uh, yada yada. This is really posh. Um, and this is the other one, which is great. Washing the basin there. Just needs a shower, that's all. So I just got sort of, I could do with right now, to be honest. I have to make do with wet wipes and splashing cold, well, warm water over me. Um, that's that. There's dross and impedimenta. All these um, cassocks, they're called. Um, and this is, you may not be able to see, this is the vestry. So this is it on my, actually the camera picks up quite well. So there's the bunk bed over there on the right with a towel. Oh, that's right, I've got to get a towel out. It needs drying off. Um, and that's all my stuff there and the bicycle in the background. And um, so it can be locked. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, Get some of that rosé, whatever, and um, get the towel out and take it outside and uh, and this is the porch area. Yeah, get the towel sticking out of my chair and um, leave it dry out. All right. Yeah, I didn't do as much as I wanted to, um, really. This is it, you know, your idea about Sorry, I was interrupted. Um, yeah, in your head, you have ideas about what you can do uh, or could might do, and of course, it's all different. Um, yeah, which way? Bit of a disappointment. This has happened before, you know. And you you watch YouTube videos and you look at maps and things. Oh, I just do that and just do that. And you know you can't just do that. And that was the at least the ground was dry. I mean, if it had been wet, that that would have been really muddy. That's the first thing. And it's too narrow and it's too lumpy. And um, there are too many hills, and uh, it's too overgrown. It's like the Pedars Way in Norfolk, you know. I went, I went to look at that last year. I didn't take the bicycle with me, I, I couldn't carry it at that time. But I went in the car and just walked a bit of it. And Pedars Way starts, the southern end of it is a, a place called Nettishaw Common, which is near Thetford. Is, is nearly on the A1066. And then, so from Nedishall Common car park, south it goes down to, and that's the Ignealed Way going south. And then um, north from Nedishall Common uh, is the Pedars Way, and it goes all the way up to the Norfolk coast. I think it's Holm by the Sea, it comes out. Um, that first bit. From Nettishaw Common up to, um, oh, we had the grass cut this morning, which was noisy. Two guys with ride-on mowers came and cut all the grass, and another guy with a strimmer. So it was all the grass is all nice and neat and cut. Uh, anyway, yeah. So the um, the southern end of the Pedals Way at um, Nettishaw Common up to where it crosses the A1066 is is walking only there's no way you can ride a bicycle on it um it's too narrow it's too overgrown there's two rose bushes at one point on either side trying to rip your clothes off as you go squeeze through there are three at least three fallen trees you've got to almost crawl underneath you couldn't ride a bicycle underneath you'd have to and you better not be wearing a big backpack either You'd have to take it off. Um, if you've got a bicycle, you're virtually laying it down and dragging it through the gap, um, and um, and the path is too narrow. And then it comes out on the A1066, and you cross the road, and then you've got a nice wide gravel track. 
over the end of that gravel track there is um, a wooden bridge over the River Thet. So the River Thet, which is called Thet Ford, named after the River Thet. Another bit bench here. Uh, with stairs, so you've got to carry your bicycle up and over the stairs. Well, my bicycle weighs 17 kilogram, but I mean, if I had camping gear on it, say another 12 kilogram, that's 30 kilogram. You've got to lift it up and carry it over stairs. This is it. it it's it's not really practical, you know. Um, oh, there's another one actually. Yeah, because I was walking up there. Yeah, that's right. And there's this gate, like a kissing gate sort of thing. Um, quite a big one too and there's no way I'm going to lift a bicycle over, over that over the fence over that gate even you know especially even if it was unloaded I couldn't lift I can't I cannot physically lift it that high we're talking about like four feet or something um, so that's the end of that so following the pedals way all the way through to um, I can't think of the place down there um, but much further north than was it? Oh, was it? What's the area called? Um, the the Kex or something? Is it, I can't remember now. Um, so if it wasn't for this bridge over the River Thet, you go a bit further, and then it's um, yeah. And you, well, no, before before that, before that, um, you come across this this high fence and the gate. Um, that's it. Can't get through. That's it. So I was looking at on the maps and I was looking at alternative routes around it, you know, and it starts getting all too complicated. Um yeah. Um oh, by the way, over there there's a load of bins. Um and here is a there's a wee gate in the corner here which is closed yeah dog walk dogs uh, dogs uh, people come in here to walk their dogs and that and other um, so that's a wee bit of a gate there that's the well you know what that looks like because he's always coming in Our parks over there and down if I keep on down here is where uh, the, the, uh, the other graveyard is or the so well we'll assume so there's a new one here now that's gotta be isn't it so the, the, the original grave has been here for a long time and then suddenly a, a new tombstone's bunged in because whoever it was has just died recently. But that, that thing there with a... Is it made of granite or something? And all these houses all, all along here. Is there like a little housing estate? Yeah, you know, you've got this kind of... garden thing going on. I've got 20... Um, it's telling me I've got 26 minutes left of recording time. That's all right. Not the not, the not urns, they're little flower things. And uh, this on the bench. And these are all new. So those over there are older. And then this lot are much newer. And they are newish, not but not all newish, but not that new. Uh, 40, 50 years or something. There's more little you know plaques and things. People are cremated, I suppose. Um I say at the back of all these houses. But it's very peaceful here. The the village as a whole, I mean apart from the traffic noise, the village as a whole is very peaceful. It's all terribly peaceful and laid back and you 
it really is and the churchyard is it's like a garden I'm spending most well in the weather I'm spending most of my time sitting outside because it's hot find some nice shade the best shade the best shade of course is under trees because uh, you know they are absorbing the sunlight for photosynthesis so Please don't leave waste from graves here. Use the bins at the churchyard gate. Thank you. Yes. Celtic cross thing going on. All right. Uh, we'll wind it up there then. Uh, I think we've got quite enough. We've got half an hour's worth here, I think, easily. Didn't do anything like as much as the ridgeways I wanted, but then again, again, you look at Google Street View, or you look at maps, and even even satellite view, and it doesn't give you the full picture of what it's really like. In fact, you've got to come here and actually look at things, like how to get to the ridgeway from Watlington. Um, it turns out the, the 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 shortest and the best way is what we did. We just go straight through the middle of the town go straight up the high street and then keep going and up all through the one way bit and up the you know do not go down Purton Lane because that is at the moment a detour for roadworks which are happening over on the uh where is it the north uh, the, the northwest side which is a nightmare uh whoops tripping over tufts of grass but this is it, it's, all, it's terribly nice and peaceful and twee and, you know, look at this place here. What will that cost? Right, and here's my chair. So I'll sign off here and um, go get a cold drink. I don't know, maybe nibble some peanuts or something. All right. I'll say signing out for now. Uh, until the next time. Laters.